Hi everyone, welcome to JavaScript Coding Challenge. In today's video, you have to find the below code output and you have 5 options to select from. And the question is, you have a function test which is having 2 arguments x and x and you are trying to print that console.log of the concatenated string of x and x. And then you are invoking that particular function and you are passing 1 and 2 as the uh, parameters. And then you are enabling the strict mode using the use strict keyword and then uh, you are calling again a function test which is again having two uh, arguments like x and x and then you are printing uh, the concatenated string as we have done in the previous function. And finally, you are again invoking the particular function and passing 3 and 4 as the parameters. And the options are, the first option is syntax error, duplicate parameter name not allowed in this particular context and the second option is 1, 2, 3 and 4 and the third option is 1, 1 and 3, 3 and the fourth option is 2, 2 and 4, 4 and the fifth option is again syntax error but in this case duplicate function name not allowed in this context. So uh, if you like this particular challenge, so please uh, hit the subscribe button and watch the uh, other uh, coding challenges uh, that's uh, already been published and that will be coming in the future. So please try it from your end and see what is the output you are getting. So let's try from our end and see what is the output we are getting. So before we deep dive into this question, we are actually using the use strict and enabling the strict mode. So we have to understand what is a strict mode, right? So strict mode actually eliminates the silent errors by changing them to throw errors. So in non-strict mode, which is otherwise known as a sloppy mode, we actually uh, eliminate, we actually uh, emit silent errors and it will not be known to the developers who are actually coding, right? So and they are unaware of that particular error in non-strict mode. But if it is uh, strict mode is enabled, then actually it will throw error. Okay, all those silent errors will be converted to uh, throwing errors. Okay, so the developers will be notified about the error and they can actually fix it as soon as they are uh, while they are actually coding right and it uh, strict mode actually fixes the mistakes that it make it difficult for javascript engines to perform optimizations and in some scenarios right it can run faster than uh, identical uh, code that is uh, in non strict mode so in some cases actually it will run faster compared to a non strict mode so that's it all the silent errors will be changed to uh, converted to um, mechanism where it will be throwing the error and the developers will be notified about it and they can fix it while they are coding. Th so that is the main uh, agenda behind using the strict mode. Okay. So in this particular question, right? so we are actually using, uh, we can actually the function at the function level we can use the strict mode and here actually for this particular function we are actually uh, enabling the strict mode and this particular uh, use strict will not be enabled, uh, will not be applicable to this particular function. And can we have a code where uh, the same function can be a function name can be used twice? So will we get the duplicate function name not allowed in this context error in this particular case? Uh, absolutely no. So if I hover the mouse over this test right, so you can see that there is an overload function overload. We can actually overload the functions with different arguments and parameters right. So this is a part an example of function overloading. So this duplicate function no, name not allowed in this context will not be applicable over here, all right? And uh, yeah, so that's the main thing. And now this particular script I'm having in the uh, index.html, so I can run that. Uh, so let me run that and make sure that everything is running fine. And okay, so everything is. And let me open the inspect and sources. I'll go to the sources tab rather than going into the uh, okay so i have actually put uh, two breakpoints okay two breakpoints uh, in both the functions okay uh, and you can also see one more thing okay one more thing is there in this particular code right so let me close this okay and you can see here okay you can see here both the functions are actually uh, taking uh, the same parameters okay it this x and x so what will happen is it will not be uh, in strict mode actually what will happen is I'll uh, detail uh, in detail I will be explaining over there but if you are actually passing the same parameters in non strict mode right so it will not throw any error and whatever value we are actually passing the second value will be overwriting the first value okay you got my point so if it is the same parameter in non strict mode it will not throw an error but in strict mode it throws an error 
and the second value whatever we are passing when we are actually invoking the function whatever the second value we have passed so that particular value will be overwriting the first value okay so and hence you can see in this particular example how it is getting printed okay but what happens in use strict mode it will be throwing a syntax error that duplicate parameter name not allowed in this particular context okay when it is of the same parameter in strict mode it will throw an error but in non strict mode it will not throw an error and the second parameter will override the first parameter okay so that's what you have to understand when you are actually passing the same parameter uh, for an in function okay so now if i put two breakpoints in each of the functions we will see which one is getting executed okay so let me refresh okay so now uh, you can see here right so this particular function has been called okay and okay so x is 2 and here also it is 2 because the second uh, argument has actually overwrite overwritten the first one okay and you can see here now it is 4 and this particular uh, 3 has been overwritten by 4 okay now if i refresh so you can see here the answer is 2 2 and 4 4 okay so option uh, d is the right answer okay so now what will happen if you are not having uh, okay if you are actually putting this u strict over here okay throughout the whole code if you are actually putting this way then what will happen and now if i actually refresh so now i will just remove the breakpoints and let me refresh it so you can see here it is throwing error okay duplicate parameter name not allowed in this context so if it is uh, u strict is uh, written at the top of this particular function right then what happens is this is applicable throughout this particular code and once we are having u strict okay u strict and then what will happen this particular uh, uh, code uh, parameter is actually duplicated right this x and x is duplicated and hence it will throw a syntax error which is option a but in our case actually this particular u strict has been moved to the second function and hence uh, this is applicable only to this particular function and if i actually uh, put go to definition right if i go to definition yeah you can see here the first overloaded uh, function is getting called so here also if i can if i just go to definition this particular function is getting called because this parameter and everything is uh, similar to over the here so the first function is getting called okay and uh, yeah i think you got an idea about uh, u strict right so u strict actually it, we can do it at function level uh, or at the uh, start of the code okay so the correct answer in this particular example would be option d 2 2 and 4 4 so I hope you got an idea about how it works and just a recap so strict mode actually it is you eliminates the silent errors by changing them to throw errors okay and uh, uh, if you are actually passing the same parameter twice then the second parameter uh, will actually overwrite, overwrite whatever is uh, present in the first and only the second will be available throughout so that is why in this case 2 2 in the first one and 4 4 in the second one is getting printed so I hope you got an idea about this one. So that's it for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching.